accept the agenda tonight with two amendments. The first amendment would be to item number 13, which will now read motion to approve allowing the fire chief to apply for the AFG grant with a 10% city match. And the second would be to item 23, uh, which will change the amount to amount not to exceed $68,063. Motion by Councilman Carter, support by Councilwoman Croft. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. Yes. Yeah. Opposed, no. Motion carries. May have a motion to approve the acceptance of the minutes of the meeting held October 18, 2016, and dispense with the oral reading. Motion to approve. Support. Motion by Councilwoman Croft, supported by Councilman Bully. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. Yes. Opposed, no. Motion carries. Item five is normally our communications from the mayor, and I don't believe we have any tonight. No, Madam Chair, no official communication tonight. Okay, thank you. Um, item number six. May have a motion to approve opening the public hearing to discuss costs for the 2016 for the 2016 winter special assessment role for the street lights in the city of Taylor. Motion to approve. Support. Motion by Councilman Cross, supported by Councilman Garza. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. This, ma'am, is when we open the floor to any interested parties regarding the street lighting assessments. So um, may I please have you, you know, raise your hand and I'll call on you one at a time. Yes, ma'am, come on. Please come to the podium, give us your name and address, and tell us what's on your mind. Hey, my name is Shai Moore, and my address is Post Office Box 1763, mm -hmm. Taylor, Michigan. Mm -hmm. I have a home, too, but I don't really want to broadcast it to the world. Um, okay, I have a number of questions about this. The uh, notice that I got from the city is, I don't know if it's intentionally obscure or if it's just obscure. Um, for example, it says percent increase, 1.03%. It is not. It's 3%. Um, you know, I'm sure that he did that in order to allow people who don't understand percentages to calculate. And I'm sure nobody did it. Um, but um, I, I would like to know how long it would take. I've gone to the website. There's no real information. I'd like to know how long it's going to take. It said it was supposed to start in the early fall of 2015 on the website. I'm assuming it hasn't. <laughs> Mr. Murphy, would you come to the podium and help us answer these questions? Madam Chair? Yes. Could you clarify the question though? What, what were you expecting to start in 2015? According to the website, it's supposed to start 2015. You're talking so about for Taylor specifically, it says early fall. You're talking about Cost change? Are you talking about? Talking about what? I, I'm not. I still don't understand the question. Are you talking about replacing lights? Are you talking yes. about cost increases? I'm talking about replacing the lights and costs. I'm talking about all of it. The LED program. Yes. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Um. Madam Chair. Mr. Mayor. While while Mr. Markey is coming up to answer the assessing portion of it, um, I can answer the LED replacement. Um, those. LED conversions on the main, on Telegraph Road, and, and that's already begun. Um, the mercury vapor portion, which is 1,366 lights citywide, that is in the process of being um, finalized and then it will have to go out to bid still. So, as we said in the last meeting, that portion will likely start um, sometime late this year, early next year. Okay, it says on this list 400 streetlights. Yeah, the Telegraph Road is 400 streetlights. Oh, okay. It says via Taylor. Okay. And that portion is near completion. All 
all right? There are a lot of street lights out on Telegraph right now. Is that why they're out? 80. 80 remain out. Um, they remain out for various reasons. They will all be operational by mid-December. Okay. Now, I, I have a question. I haven't seen any of these that I'm aware of, but when I put uh, LED lights in my home, they do not spread the way an incandescent bulb spreads. So you get a cone of light that's very narrow. You might get as many lumens, but you do not get as much light. So, Madam Chair, um, I, I can only tell you from the ones that we have installed, they produce a much brighter light, a much whiter light, and they last longer and they're more cost efficient. Brighter and whiter, but narrower? No, Madam Chair, Madam Chair it is very similar to the current pr projection. It, it, it has the same bulb, it has the same cone shape, it has everything the same. All right. It is just an LED bulb. Now, I don't know what you're using at home. You could have a different... LED bulb. Well, <laughs> and there's different shapes of LED bulbs, so you could have had one shape that had a wider projection, mm -hmm. and then when you put the LED in, it had a more narrow projection. That could be why it's a, it's a, okay. a smaller footprint, if you will. Okay. Um, what are we doing with the old lights for the Detroit industry? Manager, Detroit Edison does take care of that. Okay. Do you know what they're doing with them? I do not. Okay. Um, just, I want to take, okay. Okay, now when will this assessment go down? According to the website, which has so far been wrong about everything, uh, two to three years should be, we should have recovered the entire cost of this. So when will the assessment go down? I can't answer when your assessment will go down because utility rates fluctuate from year to year. I can tell you that the return on investment from an LED investment standpoint is approximately two years or a little greater than. Right. Well, they say 25 to 40 percent, but if you check the wattages, it's actually closer to 70 percent. So there must be some other costs in there besides the electricity. Yeah, Madam Chair, there's there's a complete calculation for the ROI, um, but again, a there's a there's a complete calculation. There's a lot of factors that are considered in, okay. in the return on investment. Right. So, but approximately two years to recover our cost on, on LED conversions. Right. So when might the assessment go down? Never. Is that the answer? Madam Chair. So far, nothing's ever gone down. Well, again, <laughs> we buy the utility from Detroit Edison, so it depends on their their rates. Okay. So I can't. I don't want. I can't give you an answer that that I can't commit to. Well, the rates should be less than they are now. According, that's the whole purpose of this, right? Or one of the major purposes of it. To lower the rates. I mean, to lower the amount, of the cost, not the rates. We're having two conversations: yes. an assessment and an LED conversion. Right. The yep. LED are more efficient and I got it. and. Uh, they're, 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 last cheaper longer, to they're cheaper and better. Right. The assessment, which is the the, the item six, mm -hmm. this is this is just to discuss to discuss the, um, the 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 overall assessment that we're currently in. We're in a 12-year assessment that expires at the end of this year, right. and the discussion is for a renewal of an assessment. Well, it's not really. It's a raise. It's a three percent increase in the assessment. Madam Chair, I don't know if Jerry wants to address the calculation of, of the, uh, the concern. Yes. Madam Chair, it's Mr. Markey, real, real quick before you get going on this. So in the last 12 years, this assessment has gone up and down and sideways. So this is not really an ink. We're just passing through the cost. Whatever Edison charges us, we charge to the taxpayer. Am I correct? The Madam Chair, the Councilman Johnson, that is correct. The, the city charges back to the residents a portion of these three light charges that the city pays. To your question, Councilman Johnson, the rates uh, tend to increase um, each year based on whatever Edison charges the city of Taylor. Uh, the last year they were relatively flat, probably a like 1% increase, but the, uh, the rates are just mathematically calculated based on the 
utility bill we, we receive from Edison on a monthly basis is then annualized and then that amount is charged back to each taxpayer by how much front footage they have. Thank you. Um, Mr. Markey, Councilwoman Crawford would like to just say one thing. No, my understanding was that it's not, um, we're collecting approximately $700,000 on the assessment, but our cost to DTE that the state pays is $1.2 million annually, correct? Madam Chair, and the case inventory can probably back this up, but we, Edison charges us roughly $1.6 million per year for utility costs, for operating street lights. What the city collects is roughly $980,000 of that amount. So a portion of the cost is incurred by the city of Taylor. Um, Mr. Markey, can you um, address her comment of the 1% versus the 3%? And, and I can, and that's a fair question. My uh, letter does say 1.03, and I think that is that 3% increase uh, is the increase. Each taxpayer received a separate letter from my office, and the rates were 1% of an increase, 3% uh, up to 5%. It depends on what type of light bulb is actually in their neighborhood. Uh, and Edison charges us based on the utility rates, and then we calculate that back to the residents. Yes. Madam Chair. Councilman Larson. Can uh, Jerry, just to kind of simplify this as well, just so folks and the residents, you know, I mean, I'm sure they're here to know what they're actually paying. What is the average? Um, cost for this increase, uh, it's a pass over plus they're going to have a percentage increase. What is the average taxpayer in the city of Taylor going to be paying um, as an increase? And, and I'm good that the Madam Chair, Councilman Garza, uh, roughly 14,000 residents will see a $2 or less increase in their streetlight special assessment. $2? $2 more uh, in 2016 than they paid in 2015. So, Jerry, Manager, um, so it, it's fair to say so we're doing the Passover, but also in addition to the Passover, the majority of our residents in the city of Taylor will see less than $2 increase. Is that correct? That is, that is correct. Annually. And if I could, Manager, just to respond a little bit deeper for Councilman Garza. We sent out 18,000 letters. 3,900 will have between $2 and $10 increase. My commercial properties, which have the uh, higher wattage light bulb and they have more frontage, will pay um, the higher price uh, per front foot. But the residents, what I have reviewed, uh, will pay the under the $2 per 